Oh, the green is really popping. This is just a regular fiberglass soaker tub we bought online. Um, it, you will see fiberglass tubs in homes and also cast iron tubs that are coated with ceramic, different things, sometimes it's failing. Either way, I always sand it. Whether you're sanding a tub to get a mechanical bond, like you can with any kind of plastic or um, composite tub, and you're gonna really dig in, get any of that grease or you know old soaps coming whatnot off and sand in and get a mechanical bond, it, you won't see as much scratching happening on the metal tubs or the cast tubs. Um, but you'll definitely be um, scuffing using that sandpaper to really efficiently get silicone and debris and stuff like that off. I usually spend even a little more time sanding my cast tubs and I'll switch out sandpaper a few times. And a lot of times I'll wash it down with alcohol in between because it'll really help get any little hidden pieces of silicone or debris that'll create fish eyes in your main coat. So either way, sanding is still doing something, even though you're not going to be sanding into the, to the metal per se, um, you still will really clean the tub like that. So make sure it's clean, that you have no contamination on there, and then we're ready for our main coat. Here, this tub, we actually were able to remove the drain very easily because it's a nice new tub. And often you can on even old tubs, but 50-50 chance you're not going to be able to get it out. And let's say you can't, you go to remove your drain, and even if you do remove it, you still need to mask that drain off in most cases. But let's say um, you can't remove your drain, and all you have to do is mask it. Just make sure you clean around that drain very well, and then use some foil masking tape. Um, and a simple, simple HVAC tape will show you here on the video where you can get it. Um, also, another way that I used to do in houses sometimes is I'd find a small piece of PVC pipe, the diameter of my drain, and I would just take a little bit of silicone and coat the bottom and secure that tightly to my actual drain and create a little temporary dam that I could pour my tub however I want, and then I can remove that piece of PVC pipe at the end, and it works really well. It keeps epoxy out of your drain. So I'm excited. Let's get going. We are doing a nice soaker tub here. I hope it's still nice after I do it. This is our tub epoxy. And I'm wanting to roll a very thin layer on today because we are broadcasting glitter into it. So if you're broadcasting glitter, there is literally no need for any excess coating on your tub at all. So I'm running our tub coating about as thin as I possibly can. And I know this is just a standalone soaker tub, mainly just because I wanted something that always thought these looked awesome. If done correctly, I always thought these looked beautiful, so I wanted to do one, a fun one for you guys. But, obviously you could do the same thing in a regular tub. You'd just be wanting to mask off a little bit, and we have some other videos online that go over some of that. So, remember this is your live for you guys, so ask any questions, let us know where you're watching from. And you know, you probably worked on the oil fill loop when you get done with work and you wash yourself off, your tub looks like this. How is everybody today? I always get excited when I hear good news from you all, from you people. Now you notice here, I actually just removed the drain and I'm letting it go out onto plastic underneath. Usually you'd actually wanna, if this was an installed tub that you couldn't access the bottom like this, you'd wanna remove your drain still, most likely, um, if you could, or just mask it off. And we have a couple of really good videos going over that as well, so. I'm gonna be pulling up a lot of my excess because I don't want excess down in here. Of course, I don't want to waste it, so I'm just going to let it flow over the edge of my tub and make a pretty little mess. What's this? Sonny said, do people pick black for tubs because it makes it harder to see when dirty? 
I don't honestly know if that's necessarily. We're just picking black because we just thought it would be an awesome ba base color, a background color that's going to show our color because we're going to broadcast this tub. This is probably, if you're watching this, this is Levi's plan to break the internet. I think this is going to be one of our best. We've had a lot of people vote on what gets the broadcast color that gets blown into this. And this is going to be an amazing tub to see done. And this is not a wall epoxy. This is our tub coating. So it's a little different than our wall, but this is our tub and sink coating epoxy. And then we have one you can actually trowel too that doesn't sag like this. So it just kind of depends on what your project is. Okay, I'm not sad about the drips either. That might look bad. That might look good itself. And usually, once you kind of get it spread, my last roll around here is not to actually um, spread the product, but it is to just even it out and make sure that you have one really homogeneous, even coat in here. And any little debris, like right there, I think I just found debris. And if I do see debris, I need to remove it now. So I just want an even layer in there. And this actually has a special agent in it that's a surface tension product that will start helping it kind of level on its own some as well. But you definitely won't be hurting anything to kind of speed that process by just nice, even strokes. How long does it take? Well, if it's me doing it, it might take you quite a while because I'm not like, I'm not an expert tub finisher, but you're a good tub finisher guy and this is a and you did like a normal tub just in a bathroom you'd probably be working on it for two hours from start to finish so especially once you get a little bit of experience knowing what you're doing no it's not this is a very temperature resistant product right here no this is just a tub for the shop this is just a fun tub that we're doing just to just to kind of showcase some of our tub and sink coatings here guys uh, bonding primer no I actually sanded it so we'd get a really good mechanical bond and then I just wiped it really lightly with a little bit of acetone and then back with isopropyl alcohol just making sure there's no contamination or anything in it Okay, this is actually getting really nice here. Don't don't over torch this, guys. It'd be better to torch lightly a few times on this and come back over it than to torch too heavily once. slow. It doesn't matter if this takes a while. Oh, it's going down. I'm seeing it. I am starting to see it, guys. It's just let it stay away from that powder and let it land and settle on that tub and it's going to be beautiful.